Now you will see the reading passage for three minutes. Remember, it will be available to you again when it is time for you to write. The lecture will begin, so keep your headset on until the lecture is over. Actual Test 1. Now you will see the reading passage for three minutes. Remember, it will be available to you again when it is time for you to write. The lecture will begin, so keep your headset on until the lecture is over. Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. Living roofs are in vogue these days, and we all know how trends are. Uh, they're mostly a lot of hype. Okay, let's say these green roofs are an improvement over concrete slabs. I'll give you that. But are they revolutionary? Far from it. Frankly, their advantages are grossly exaggerated. The first thing is, they won't solve the shortage of city parks. Unless you're one of those fortunate few who work in one of these buildings, you've probably never been to a park on a roof. Okay, maybe you've seen one of them on the news, right? Anyway, even if the total area of city parks increases, if people can't access them, what's the point? Okay, what's next? Um, the promise of a spectacular view is another advantage people are always talking about. But is it really? I live in a city with many green roofs, but I haven't seen these nice views everybody talks about. And do you know why? Because like most people, I usually walk on the sidewalk and you can't see the rooftops from below. And another thing, green roofs may save on energy, but they also have additional costs. 
it can be very expensive to install and maintain a living roof. For instance, installation of the living roof on Ford Motor Company's assembly plant costs $2 billion. Now that's a lot of money. And there are maintenance costs. The soil and plant material often clog drains and cause water leaks. And with lots of soil and roots everywhere, it's costly to find and repair these leaks. All these extra costs certainly outweigh the energy savings. Summarize the points made in the lecture you just heard, explaining how they cast doubt on the points made in the reading.